issues with getting this carburetor to run correctly. that I'm going to have to do on a quarter jet here is I did order some some jets and metering rods and they're available from places like quarter jet parts there's a quarter jet power there's a few other places but they're not an infinite source of jets and metering rods but you got quite a few to choose from and almost every kind of application um, I was going to jet it up but when I noticed when you got to close that the the, the, uh, the choke flap and you got to go pretty far to close this thing off um, in reality I'm looking at more than just a jet change and really it's just at idle. I don't know where it's at, at, you know, mid or part or full throttle. This carburetor was originally intended for a 305 Chevrolet and it has the factory metering rods and the factory jets in it now. So I'm assuming it's going to be relatively close to our 305. It, there's not going to be much of a jet change difference. It may be a little bit lean. It may need to go a little bit fatter. Um, not a big deal. I have more jets. Uh, the problem is this thing needs like literally it's just an idle circuit that's that's horrible and if you know the way the quarter jet works it's primarily three different circuits you have your idle circuit you have your primary circuit and then you have your secondary circuit okay and right now with the throttle like pretty much all the way closed it's just running on the primary circuit which is uh if you look on the bottom of the carburetor and you look at the primary butterflies there's a little hole like right here. It's actually a little slot called a transfer slot. And that's where your air comes in at. Um, that is essentially where if your carburetor is set up incorrectly, you'll know because the butterflies will not be in the transfer slot generally. Uh, and that's this one. It's just got not get enough air at idle. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to beef up the idle circuit. But at the moment, I'm kind of on the fence because the modifications that this book right here, which is if you've ever dealt with quad jets and you don't have this book, this is a book by a guy named Cliff Ruggles. Um, it's quad jet or Rochester quad jet carburetors. You can get it on Amazon. It's not all that expensive. It's just by regular SA design books. Uh, that usually does all of the automotive books, but um, Cliff recommends, you know, doing some modifications to the carburetor that in my opinion, some of them can't be undone. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to mix and match a few pieces and improve what we already have uh, with what I have, have got here, okay? It doesn't need to be something that I can't undo um, because this was really just put together to see if this would work. And I just need to, uh, to idle. We're not checking the idle on the dyno. I just need it to idle fairly decent. And the way it's at now, it barely gets any fuel whatsoever. So we're going to see if we can richen it up some without going overboard 
and without doing something that I can't undo. So first thing I'm gonna do though, as Cliff is mentioning in here, um, there is a, a, one of the big things is bypass idle error. Um, or idle bypass error, I guess is it is called. Idle bypass error. He gives you a, a, a recipe in here for a lot of things that seem to work well based on what he's done in, in his previous experiences, okay? And all of it is based on how big the camshaft is. So um, he gives you a recommendation here for something with 214, um, you know, intake duration, 224 exhaust duration, and a 112 uh, LSA, um, the lobe separation. So that combination is fairly close to what we have in there, with the exception is I believe ours is on a 108 or a 110 center line, um, which actually requires the next size uh, up modifications. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do some of these here in the in the third recipe that it gets you with a little bit smaller camshaft. And the reason for that is it gets really intrusive on the next few. Problem here. Duty 370 degrees duration. 